Music was a huge part of the anti-apartheid movement, and Nigerian musicians stood side by side their South African counterparts to push the message. Today, that message is now one of praise and tribute. African people, I love you, my people. I love you, my people. This time, an entire new generation of musicians gathered to pay tribute to Nelson Mandela. They sang in honor of a man many here call Africa's last liberator. So Moses Zuki was born to do what he did. You know, he spent 27 years in prison. How many people that didn't actually commit a crime would do that for a cause, for something they believe in? Well, there's a lot of lessons to be learned, you know, from uh, the late Nelson Mandela. And I think, I mean, you can tell from all the people who have come to watch and the performers, you know, it's something that's worth celebrating. God has blessed us with different things that we can use in making a change and sometimes we use it for our own selfish reasons because we want to be comfortable forgetting that these things affect everyone else the audience included South Africans who were unable to attend the various memorial services and funeral back home it's so incredible the lives that Mandela has touched that it's it's such a phenomenon right across the world Africa's talk show queen and first African female television network owner Mo Abadou organized the event he said it always seems impossible until it is done whatever dreams are in our hearts some people would have looked at apartheid and said it's an impossible mountain to climb let's just live with it this corruption, let's live with it. This no water, let's live with it. This no electricity, let's live with it. Whatever the challenge is, but he said no. Make some nice for my diva. Mandela was passionate about music, and the large crowds in Lagos approved of such fitting tribute to a long standing history of shared art and purpose. Adoria Chumba, Lagos.